Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Justina, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a part two of what I purchased at the Sephora sale. So if you're interested, continue watching. <laughs> so the first thing I purchased was a complexion brush, and this is actually really tiny when I think about it and I look at the box that it comes in. I thought it would be a thicker box length. I get it. I haven't seen what it looked like yet. It is a dual-sided brush that I ordered. Okay, so maybe it's just held down by the packaging and made smaller. So when I rip it open, this is supposed to be the side where it's the foundation brush. And it's actually way smaller than I thought it would be. Still find it to be really small, but it does feel nice. So I would put my foundation on with this and buff it, or it could be for my contour and this could be for my highlight. So this is really small as well. I didn't think that this brush would be so tiny, but I do love the flat top just to apply foundation. I think it will be perfect. And I love this angled brush. Definitely for my Becca concealer, it's a pot so I can put it in there and just apply it underneath my eyes and that would help out so much. So I'm really excited to use this. It is way smaller than I thought it would be. It goes for $40, but we'll see what it can do. So this product is from Goop Beauty, and it's really actually hard for me. I keep saying Goop or Goop, I don't know. It keeps coming out wrong every time I pronounce it. This is from Goop Beauty, and this is Gwyneth Paltrow's line. If you don't know who she is when you think about it, if you watch Iron Man, I think the first one, that's his wife, unless that's his wife in all of them. I've never seen Iron Man, but I just know like that's his wife. Or is it his assistant? Who knows? I don't know, but she's in the movie. So. Um, this is Goop Glow, and this is by Goop Beauty. This is Gwyneth Paltrow's line. This is Microderm Instinct Glow Exfoliator. So seeing this firsthand and when I saw the box come in, this is very tiny for me, especially for $125, and they have a mini of this. Imagine what the mini looks like. This is very small, and I cannot believe how small it is, especially for $125. I'm still astonished, and I brought this during the sale, so it's 20% off, thank God because I don't think I would have brought this. It smells like a toner, like my exfoliating toners. That's definitely what it smells like. And it looks like this. It has like a tint to it and it has little beads. Literally looks like vanilla bean ice cream. I'm just so surprised at the product that comes in there for $125, but the reviews on here say that it's really good. So this better be a holy grail. I am gonna try it out. But I, I can't grasp why it's so much money. I literally can't. So maybe it's going to do something for my skin that I'm unaware about. And then I'm going to say that this is worth $125. But right now for the size, I'm appalled. So I don't know. If you've tried this, please let me know down below in the comment section. And if you think I'm crazy for spending $125 on this little bottle, I understand. So for my skincare routine, I always use a spray at the end. And I was running out of my spray, so I needed something new. This is the Dr. Jarts, I think it's pronounced Sycopare Tiger Grass Calming Mist, and this is relief for sensitive skin. So I needed a new mist, and this sounded perfect, definitely for sensitive skin. This is solely for my skincare routine. I can go to bed or I can wake up. This is supposed to calm my skin, and this is exactly what it says it will do. So I want to see what it's like. It also has an expiration date, which I always see like maybe 24 months or 12 months on packaging, but this has an actual date, so I think that that's pretty cool. It says it would expire in 2022, and this is what the bottle looks like. So the bottle is really cool. The packaging for this brand, this line, always looks like this, this green bottle, and I absolutely love the packaging on this, and it's a clean product from Sephora. I think it looks perfect. I'm gonna try to spray it. Oh yeah, tiger grass. I definitely smell that. It's definitely like an essential oil kind of smell, like peppermint, spearmint, but nothing too strong. It smells really good. So as you guys know, I love the Anastasia Brow Gel in clear. That literally is my jam from beginning to end. But sometimes I feel like when my eyebrows grow a little crazy, it can't hold my eyebrows in place the way I want. I usually use that brow gel more when I got my eyebrows done and I want them to stay in place and it stays in place perfectly. But I need something when my eyebrows are crazy like this and we've been in quarantine and I couldn't do anything. So this soap brows came in handy 
And what it is basically, this is pretty soapy, but it comes with this spoolie. I spray one, I sprayed this Kylie spray, one spray of it, and I just go back and forth, and it looks like this. It looks like a little soap wax bar. So, so I've just been going back and forth, and then I go through it, and I comb up my eyebrows like this, and literally stays in place perfectly. I thought that maybe, don't get me wrong, the idea of soap and dry it on my eyebrows, I thought that it would be pretty itchy and I wasn't into it. I didn't know how it would play out and this does not bother me at all. There's no reactions. I have no itchiness. It's not stiff where I'm just like scratching my eyebrows and there's residue. There's none of that. This is a holy grail and I ordered it before Patrick Ta came out with his eyebrow product. I really do want to try that as well. But if they're going to be the same, then I might as well use this. And it's doing a pretty great job for my eyebrows, and I don't know if you can agree. So let me know in the comment section if you agree. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed part two of what I purchased at the Sephora sale. It was a pretty short list, but if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with another video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.